Ó. June the 12th. I don't know what that is out there in the water, but I do see something. Anyway, I came into the cabin this morning, Sunday morning for breakfast. <laughs> Seen a couple of geese and a, a moose and a fox. Whew, now I got the fire lit. It's a little bit on the chilly side. Not much time to go. Anyway, out there is. This is where I saw the two geese coming down across right there. And this is what I got for my breakfast. A bit of salt fish. Loaded with butter. And a cup of tea. And a slice of raisin bread with jam on it, of all things. Oops. Couple of geese. Right in front of my cabin this morning. I'm here fishing in the pond now this evening. A bit of wind, nice, and there's a lunge spot there. And as you can see, the wind is coming in, so the flies are accumulating on this this side of the, the lund area right here. And you can see the, the trout just breaching around every now and then. But anyway, I got here a lure, and you can see it's a yellow, five diamonds, five diamonds. So what I done, I took the hook off and moved it down, like I do with most of the lures, moved it down. Oh, it was about six inches away, probably. And the hook that I'm using is a real small, small eye in it. And I just double up the, the amount of filament and put the knot up on this end and just ran the, ran the amount of filament through right there. So you could put a worm on and slide the worm right on up this hook. And you put two or three worms on if you want. So when the bait goes, just push down. Just slide a new worm right down in it, and it works fine. I've been doing it for for a nice while now, over the years, and uh, it works really well. So, yeah, so I'll just show you what I mean. Now, guys, you can see what I'm talking about. I got the, I got the worm put on, and there's the hook way down there. So I'm going to put another worm on now, and slide the rest of the worm right up tight to the lure. That way, you got a supply of bait up the uh, thing and uh, it'll slide down when you want to when you catch a trout it usually slides up on there anyway so it works really really well uh, unreal actually okay I'm standing there now I'm gonna I'm gonna cast that ugly ugly thing out and see what happens and the cast is not very far as you can see, I'm going to let it go to the bottom and just watch the watch the loin. There we go. Hold on. Hard to do the reeling in and. Uh, and everything without making a few bungles. And I'll show you what happens with the trout. Usually the worm comes right on up, right up alongside the lure. You know, bad little fish. Now there's the worm all over the place up there, and there's the trout. The trout got no worm in his mouth at all, so it's a good worm saver anyway. Also, uh, another good tip, I got a bit of Velcro put onto my uh, jacket pocket right there on the left side, my, and, and a piece of the Velcro put onto the, uh, onto the worm box, on the bottom of the worm box. So uh, I don't have to reach into a pocket or anything for the, uh, for the worms. I just reached to the Velcro there and it's all ready to go. I just lost the salmon right back in the end of that pool right there. 
Not a big lot on the go this morning. No one on the river. I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. I got a, a bit of Velcro stuck onto my uh, onto my uh, worm case and stuff, and my fly case, which this one here is a fly case. And uh, I just uh, put it on my uh, vest right here, or on, on my coat right there. And really, no way to get it off, it just stays there. So, anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. It's a beautiful morning here. Good morning. 